Mr. Hepburn Graham. Hello, good evening, and may I thank you for your attendance. Brothers and sisters, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as you probably know by now, five years ago, as a result of disturbances on Broadwater Farm, 110 people were charged with criminal offenses. Of those charged, six were accused of the murder of Police Constable Blakelock and sent to trial in the grandiose surroundings of the Old Bailey. The trial, and I use the word loosely, circus would be more appropriate, the circus lasted a period of 57 days, at the end of which Mark Braithwaite, Engin Raghip, and Winston Silcott were found guilty of cold-blooded murder. No evidence, no witnesses, no forensic, no photographs, no confessions, no nothing, except a concoction of police lies, hocus-pocus, and skullduggery. So, my friends, even though this is an evening of cultural celebration, it is also a damning indictment of the power structure and of man's inhumanity to man. My friends, we are living in an age and a country where we are constantly being reminded of the violation of human rights north, south, east and west of the globe. In fact, this country holds herself up as one of the icons of democracy and never stops telling others about their misdemeanors. It is a condemnation that we should both support and applaud, but it is also a condemnation that stinks of hypocrisy. Mark Braithwaite, Engin Rakip and Winston Silcott are just three of a whole multitude of people whose human rights are being violated every single day, every single month, and every single year across this green and so-called pleasant land. So my friends, as you leave here this evening, I ask you to go on a mighty crusade. Back to your neighborhoods, colleges, schools, offices and factories telling loved ones, friends and enemies that there has been a cataclysmic miscarriage of justice in Tottenham that must not and cannot be tolerated. Remember, remember my friends, the law, not me or the campaigners or family and friends, but the law states categorically and unequivocally that a man is innocent until proved guilty beyond all reasonable doubt. And that was not the case with the Tottenham Three because there was never any evidence to find them guilty, much less reasonable doubt in the first place. So my friends, spread the word. Spread it far and wide in every nook and cranny remembering always the words of a great philosopher that the bell of man's inhumanity to man tolls not for one man alone. It tolls for me, it tolls for you, it tolls for every man. Thank you.